happy. I'm happy. Ooh, you smell that? My name is George Motes. It's my job to make sure you love hamburgers almost as much as I do. I've been on a mission to preserve the American hamburger, and what I've noticed is that a lot of the big commercial fast food places have given the hamburger a bad rap. Today, I want to focus on two family-owned, locally beloved fast food icons, Fat Moe's in Nashville and a place called Swenson's in Northeast Ohio. These regional burger chains have proven that you don't have to sell out to be a success. Pow! That's right. Sorry. <laughs> And listen, it's very important to remember that both these places have secrets. These are not their recipes I'm giving you. This is an approximation of what I think they might be doing. I don't want to hear your secrets. Your secrets are important to you. They keep you relevant. But the two burgers that I'm going to be making today take a few twists and turns to get to the finished product. These are pretty unique burgers. You ready? Let's go for a ride. We're going through regional American fast food burger history. Let's do this. We are here to talk about Swenson's. Ohio is a great place for primary source hamburger joints. It's also the birthplace of Wendy's. Uh, it's the home of White Castle. Swenson's is the pride of Northeast Ohio. It's the kind of place where nostalgia is an ingredient. You taste it, you feel it. It's as if time went on and left Swenson's in the past in a good way. Swenson's is also a classic drive-in. It's not a drive-through, it's a drive-in. What's the difference? How about a little history lesson here? The drive-in was not originally intended for the burger concept. It began in 1921 when Jesse Kirby took advantage of the automotive boom and opened a chain of drive-in pig stands in Dallas, Texas. This novel concept allowed for hungry customers to drive up, place their order with a car hop, eat, and leave without ever having to get out of their vehicle. This food delivery system was eventually adopted by hamburger restaurants nationwide. The drive-through came nearly 30 years later thanks to In-N-Out's founder Harry Snyder. Snyder wanted to speed up the ordering process for his Southern California burger operation, which at the time only had a drive-up window where people would place an order and wait. In a stroke of genius, Snyder figured out a way to build a cheap two-way radio, which allowed the customer to pull up, place an order at the curb, and have the food be ready by the time they got to the window. The drive through was adapted by virtually all of fast food nationwide, which of course spelled doom for the drive-in. This stuff still happens at Swenson's. I took my teenage daughter there for the first time, and she was blown away by what she saw. <laughs> what they're doing is something that no one does anymore. They're running from the kitchen to a car and back to the kitchen at top speed because that's the way it was done back then. You worked hard for your tips. When people ask me what to get at Swenson's, I tell them you have to get the signature burger, the galley boy. I'm ready. You ready? Who's ready? I'm ready. Who's ready? You ready? I'm ready. Let's make this. The construction is simple. It's just two beef patties, a slice of cheese in between the two. Kind of like the Big Mac and Bob's Big Boy Double Decker. Barbecue sauce, a tangy tartar sauce, and that's it. They grind their own beef and make their own patties, and I think I know why. Certain loose lips on the interwebs mention that there might be some brown sugar mixed into the beef. So I tried that, and it works actually. They will not confirm this or deny this, but I can tell you right now, it was a pretty unique flavor. But something goes on there, some weird science is happening whenever you combine sugar and beef. This burger, what am I doing? I like to hand smash. If you don't have a smashing tool, one of the tricks I like to use is something called the hand smash. Two pieces of parchment paper and your hand. Two patties. <laughs> okay. Nicely round. Yes! Not too much sugar. Oh, but I can definitely smell it. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're like sugar cookies. One patty. Two patties. Hello, bun. Toasted bun. Watch closely what happens here. This burger is all about method in the construction. I need to wear my fucking spatula. <laughs> Flip a patty, flip a second patty. Now, very important, there's only one slice of cheese here. So one patty gets a slice of cheese, the other patty gets barbecue sauce. The tartar sauce goes onto the crown of the bun. The heel of the bun. Watch, ready? Barbecue sauce patty, down. You see that? Then, very important, the cheese top patty, down, and the crown of the bun 
goes on top of that. You heard that, on top. So now you have, oh shit, <laughs> very hot bun. Oh shit, it's hot. Now you have tartar sauce, patty, shit, oh Jesus Christ. Tartar sauce, patty, cheese, patty, barbecue sauce, right? The whole thing gets wrapped up. Here we go. Toothpick. And just like they do, they take a toothpick and they stick the whole thing together and into that toothpick, they stick, look at that, they stick a pimento stuffed olive. There it is, the galley boy from Swenson's, just like you'd find it. Mm. But now it's been sitting here for a couple of minutes. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a thing of beauty. This is a homemade galley boy. You know, you know what it looks like? The real thing. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. 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 That's so good. That's so good. Oh, yeah. On to Nashville. Here we go. Nashville, the double mo. It's a double cheeseburger at a place in Nashville called Fat Moe's. Fat Moe's is not a sit down restaurant. It's a drive up restaurant. You actually drive up to the window and order at a window. Old school. It's about as old school as it gets. You get the burger. It looks like a classic American cheeseburger. But there's a twist. There's a twist here. The owners are from Iran. And the flavors are Persian. That's right. Can you imagine that? It's a perfect mashup between a classic American double cheeseburger and Persian spice. Of course, behind every great burger, there's usually a pretty crazy story. From what I understand, a guy named Mohammed in the 1970s in Tehran opened up a chain of hamburger stands called Mamad Topal, which translated from Farsi means Fat Mohammed. When the Shah of Iran was deposed in 1978, he felt it was unsafe for he and his family to be there, so they left and went to, of all places, Nashville. He had a cousin there. When he got to Nashville, he immediately opened up another mini chain of hamburger joints called Fat Moe's. This burger's all about method, and that's why I love it. Like most good regional burgers, there's some kind of method involved that makes it special. In this case, similar to the teriyaki burger in Hawaii, the patty is dipped into a marinade at some point in the cooking process. This is a marinade that has, according to all the news reports and what they've actually told me personally, there's 18 spices in that. It's a secret, obviously. We didn't want to ask them what their secrets were. I don't want to hear secrets. We knew that it had cumin. We knew that it had cardamom. But beyond that, we didn't know. So we started asking people, asking friends, and a bunch of friends of mine came back with what they thought might be a perfect 18 spice marinade. So in this we have, I read, coriander, cumin, cinnamon, black pepper, cardamom, nutmeg, lemon peel, saffron, sumac, mace, ginger, oregano, cloves, sesame, dried mint, dried parsley, turmeric, and you ready for this one? Crushed rose petals. That's right, crushed rose petals. It'll be easily be the first burger I've ever made with crushed rose petal spice in it. Is it a spice? I guess it is. <laughs> Fat Moe's uses fresh ground beef, but I'm gonna use these hand smash method. See? Look at that. Let's patty down. Second patty, we're making a double. Patty down. Salt. I'm gonna flip already. I gotta flip, gotta flip. Wow. I don't wanna cook too much, it's gonna go back on the flat top again. So right now, I'm just going to, oh shit, ow. <laughs> Sorry, I burned myself again, what's wrong with me? Into the marinade, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. The marinade's warm, it's sitting on the flat top and it's warm, it's cooked. <laughs> it's such crazy science, but it totally works. Oh yeah. Ooh, ah, hot stuff. Ooh, ow, <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> Never fucking learn, man. So in addition to these 18 spices, I did add beef broth as a liquid component. Okay, I think it's been about three minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and return these patties to the flat top. Oh, it already smells, oh my God. You. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Woo! You smell that? A bit of mustard in the bottom. Some lettuce on top of that. Patties go down. One patty. 
two patties, slice of tomato, pickles on top of that, slick the top bun with mayonnaise, put it all together. Look at that. Now, the real trick here is gonna be to do this. Yeah. <laughs> gonna tuck this under, tuck this under, fold it under, wham! Look at that. Oh! <laughs> Complete with an 18, 18 spice marinade. It smells like nothing you've ever smelled before. <laughs> oh. mm hmm mm hmm mm. Oh my God. Happy. I'm happy. The hyper-regional fast food burger. Thank you, Fat Mo's. Thank you, Swedson's. Thank you for keeping it real and keeping it alive. Because then I get to eat this stuff. And so do you. See you next time, when I may do it shirtless. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs>